Okay, so when I came to Poznan, um, I, I started to follow the, the debates that are taking on at the UN level. Um, and it, it, it splits up into a whole, um, a whole series of acronyms. And to any normal person, it's almost impossible to explain to them what is actually going on. So you get the substate working group, which is discussing RED. And then you get the ad hoc working group on LCA, which is discussing RED. And then they all come back to the plenum, where the delegates read out two-page statements. That It appears that they actually wrote these before they even came to Poznan. And, and when you, the, the actual level of, of debate that is taking on, taking place, in these plenum sessions is uh, it's difficult not to describe it as infantile it's 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 so petty I, I mean here we are we're facing a serious problem climate change this is why we're all here and the delegates sit up they read out a statement they sit down, the next one gets up, reads out a statement, and then another delegate gets up and says, I'd like to say that I agreed with that previous statement. And so it goes on for one and a half hours with absolutely no progress being made whatsoever. And all they can do then is say, OK, well, we need a contact group. And the contact group goes into the same process. and, and it, it's just mind-numbingly frustrating to see. And, you know, it's like there's an elephant in the room while these discussions are going on. There are governments who are not respecting indigenous people's rights in any way whatsoever. And it, it's just unspoken. Nobody can talk about that. It, it just... It just, you know, it's off the agenda. And some of them are actually right now in the pilot projects of you and Red or also of the uh, Roman. Yeah, Can you exactly. That? Yeah. So, so some of these very countries are directly involved in the UN Red pilot program. And for for example, probably one of the worst examples is Vietnam. And th there is a full-on crisis going on in the central highlands of Vietnam, which is the indigenous area of Vietnam. And it's also, it's also the area where most forests are, or at least the, it, there's been massive rates of deforestation as hundreds of thousands of people have been moved more or less under a government program where they've cut down the forests and grown coffee, trampling over the rights of indigenous peoples as they've been doing so. And the government has been building dams. There's a whole series of dams proposed for the, the Seisan river basins, the Sreipok river basins, which have flooded out indigenous peoples' lands. They've also caused massive problems for people living downstream in Cambodia. And the Vietnamese government has done precisely nothing to address these problems.